It's race day here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen clocked a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. The Let's talk about Garn. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Gardner lines up on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Gasly, Lucas Faber and Verstappen, Perez. Faber down in fifth. He's had a, he's dropped a clanger. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's oh. give them a race worth watching. Is it now? Wow. Okay. Push Charles off the start. Oh, the revs dipped. Oh man, that was a rubbish start. Just keep it clean. Try and stay with Ferraris. Just a little bit of it. Rude nudge, yeah. Switch up to Rich. Can we have a little look. Yes. All right, let's focus now for the rest of the race. I'm trying, Jeff. I'm trying. Both always. up on them curves, boy. Bring them in. I mean, I'm not, I'm not too worried because our pace was really good over the course of the weekends. And even without DRS, we Whoa! Green flag. Well, I'm definitely not worried now. Glad I didn't run into the back of him. Holy cow, that was, that was scary. <laughs> wow. Let's um let's have a look at that quick. Oh. Oh he's there, look. He's ready to pull off. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm just gonna see if we could uh have a look at him for blowing up in front of us but from an off board shot maybe I can get that later I was going to say for more dramatic effect but that was pretty dramatic anyway so Verstappen's up in second place look at him go wow. in the Toro Rosso Red Bull at this point in our season career mode is absolute trash down the back. Put loads of fuel in just so we can run in rich, rich mix mode. Pretty much for the whole race if we want to. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Give me that extra point, boy. That's what I'm looking for. That's way too much curve there. I don't know 
why I feel like I have to ride these curves that much. It's a surefire way to, like this, this section here, like another Damon Hill, like spinning out, hitting the tire stacks for that 96 race. And he was, I think he was in the lead, like, Lacey was behind him, and he just, he looked like he had his things under control sorted. And then he just had, they hit those tyre stacks. I think Schumacher hit the tyre stacks as well that race, but he got away with it, if I remember right. Yeah, not a, not a good day for Damon, that one. for a better day ourselves. We're leading our teammate by 3.4 seconds. Oh, Babers. Babers charging up the field. Keep an eye on that. This, is, if this isn't going to make for the most exciting race. It's more just a race with ourselves at this point. Unless Lucas gets through. Then I can see it becoming a little bit more fruity. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. You want to go to lap 9? Copy. Yeah. It must be really nice. Really nice on the tyres then. Laps out of softs is pretty. Uh, it's asking a lot. Jeff reckons we can do it. Good Love job. That, back. that was the you. fastest lap of the race. Oh, so what? Far. Come on, V8 Lucas. Oh, here we go. Lucas is through. Oh no, he's having a, he's having a right tall tussle with Pierre back there. So, he's dropped back again. What? You know, wow, there's a proper battle going on back there. Teammate status? A teammate behind is 4.0 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in fifth. The time last lap was a 120.7. What is in that dive bomb on Vettel uh, at the start? There hasn't really been much action from our point of view. Setting 21 fives, we're being quite consistent. We want to pit this lap, so push now. Okay. for the hammer time. We're leading our teammate by 7.5 seconds. Well, it's just pitted, so... Okay, remember to pit this lap. 
one and a half seconds, okay. Three and a half in front of the gas so it's alright. Should be okay. Whoosh. I don't think I could deal with uh, <laughs> trying to do the pit limiter as well. That's crazy. On manual. Release, release. Look after Maybe if these I was tires now. This. We want to finish the race on this compound. Well, I mean, you've set me up as a strategy to not have to worry about it, Jeff. So. Mediums now, boy. We're not on softs. We just came off soft. We did nine laps on those. Just let me get on with it, Jeff. All right. I know what I'm doing. I won the last race. corner that gives us a problem is the first of those two right-handers. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Back up. <coughs> we did have that little off. We've got this on a lot, boys. Nothing silly now. Okay, some information on Perez. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Oh. So that's why Lucas just got past him very easily. Oh, the Staffan's got back in front of him. Oh no! Oh, he's back here. Wow, he's having a proper tussle back there with those boys. It just goes to show you how much time you can lose in the pack. It's like we're not posting amazing, amazing lap times. We're just being consistent around that 21.5, 21.4, uh, and, and we're just keeping out in the lead, no problems, we might be on for a PB lap here as well, to finish off with. Here we go, second win of the season. Nice work, that's P1. Thanks, Jeff. Well done. Nice one. Thanks, boys. Thanks, everybody. It's a great car. You give me a monster. So Alfa Romeo have won it. So what a great race it was. The boss will be happy with that. What helped them deliver this result, do you think?
I'm not getting sacked yet. This was a real victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well yeah, yeah, suited to the conditions out on. Did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. Yeah, a we shining did. example of how F1 really is a team sport. Jeff, Jeff called the audible with the Alpha Romeo extension of the first stint. The world over with their brilliant driving, showing that they're a force to be reckoned with out there on the track. They'll certainly be building on that fan base after today's excellent result. Lucas did get onto the podium in the end. Mm. So even when he's having an off day, he still gets on there. It's a little bit annoying, I'm going to be honest. Don't tell him I said that. Really. So, let's review the driver's standings. It's a good result for Lucas Weber, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Some amazing talents out on the track today, but Anthony, yeah. who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, I certainly didn't have any complaints with Kevin Magnussen's performance today. Wow. Incredible driving. Going up 10 places. Let's move on to the constructors. Alfa Romeo moves even further clear of the competition. Meanwhile, Toro Rosso's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend we of up Formula to third 1. In the Be sure to join us for the next one. So, another race win. We are on hot form. Uh, I think the next race might be Singapore. I'm not quite so good around there, but we're, we're doing well. So, bouncing back. We'll see if we can uh, at least try and get second in the championship. See where we go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next video.